Over 366 million people worldwide have diabetes. Over 30 million in America alone. It's the number one leading cause of blindness. It's the number one leading cause of dialysis. It's the number one leading cause of amputations. Diabetes is a killer. A celebrity chef is on a mission to transform America and spread awareness about diabetes. Charles Maddox made his name with those healthy $7 meals and three years ago, though, diagnosed with diabetes himself. Now he's touring the southern U.S., known as the Diabetes Belt. He's touring in a nice little vehicle you have there. Yes, yes, yes. thanks this for having fancy. me, Fancy, Charles yeah. Maddox, great to see yeah. you. Yeah, thank we you. should mention also, because it's a little celebrity, uh -huh. uh, besides just being the poor chef, uh -huh. uh, also the nephew of the late Bob Marley. That's right, that's right. That's so right, a lot of fame, right. and fame yes, in this family of yours. Yes, man. Yes, man. Yes, man. I usually would bring you some curry chicken, but I, I didn't. I didn't get that. That's today. too bad. Uh, that's yeah. right. That would have been great TV yeah. for us, anyway. Right, yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Talk to us a little bit about this mission and, okay. and why you've decided to do this. Because behind the scenes, you can't see this, but there are also some folks here who are, are yeah, filming a documentary yeah. about what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm doing. Well, I was diagnosed three years ago, and you know, I, I call myself the poor chef: eat cheap, but eat well. And uh, here, I wasn't eating as well and living the way I, I should have been living. So I was diagnosed diagnosed three years ago and I made it I said you know what I'm gonna make it my mission to get out here and educate people and inspire people and and we've been all around the world we've been to India we've been to the islands you name it we're there now we're here with so we, we, I've got a documentary called the diabetic you I've got the the first ever diabetes reality television show called uh, reverse that's like the biggest loser of diabetes um, and now we've got this RV tour because what I wanted to do was really to, to almost like hit the grass for I wanted to be like a, a presidential candidate who went out and hugged babies and kissed everybody <laughs> and talked about diabetes because it's, it's, it's really a pandemic. And if we don't do something about it right now where we educate people who, number one, have diabetes, number one, number two, uh, uh, are in risk of, of having diabetes. Um, and, and we've teamed up with some great people like you see that, that are here, uh, Heal Together and Shire, uh, uh, our, our, our core, we teamed up together to really talk about not just diabetes, but diabetes diabetes complications because there's some serious foot complications in diabetes too as well. Yeah, here's but, but one thing, I, I don't know how you handle this, you're yeah. doing the tour in the diabetes belt like you call it, yeah. and it's a part of the heritage. You go yeah. out, you barbecue, you have fried foods. Yeah. Is that the toughest part is to get people to break their old habits and it's comfort food? Uh, you know, yes, yes, and I think, you know, breaking the habits is, is part of part of it, but, but they don't know a lot of other things that they should know that we would think that they know. Right. Like some people still dr think drink Drinking juice is better than soda, you know, and, and it has, you know, just amounts, if not more, the same amounts of sugar. Uh, they, 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 they take their medicine, which is good, but they don't exercise. Mm -hmm. They don't take other things to supplement their bodies because, you know, 80% of, of diabetics die from heart disease. So that means that there's, a, there's an oxidative stress that is going on uh, 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 that we have to address too as well. So we've got some other even great products as, as far as Immunitech and Centrified that help with that. So it's really about education. So, and even like with, with feet, I mean, almost, uh, I think it's a, a, a 70 percent of people who had uh, amputations actually didn't need to have them. So just being able to, to check your foot, right. uh, because there's sometimes people who walk around with nails and, and rocks in their feet, and they have no idea because uh, they can't feel it. And that leads to other things. So what we're doing is literally we're going to hospitals, we're going to schools. Uh, I might go to a bar mitzvah. <laughs> where, where, wherever it takes us, we are there to, to, to talk about that diabetes and you know we've got some great information so we've got everything on from from the feed I've got my children's book which I got you guys some 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 gift bags to take oh, home good. Um, we've got some recipes so I've got some hummus eggs uh, and we also got another great recipe right there all great for diabetics uh, the children's book just came out and and it allows me to reach a new audience of, 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 of parents and people with diabetes right. that I can talk about diabetes to a younger audience so Charles, how can people at home find you if they're not able to to come out to see the RV or come to one of these events where you are. They can go can they to that nice website right there, diabeticurvtour.com. <laughs> they can go to healtogether.com. Um, they can Google me. They can they can find me. You could call me. No, no, don't call me. Don't call me. Don't call me. Don't call me. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs>